Hello and welcome to Clever Tips with Clever IT. Today we're going to take a look at customizing the weather in Windows 10. So essentially what that means is that when you click on the start menu, you're going to see you're going to have weather options here. Now your icon size may, you know, change depending on previous configurations, how it came. There's a few different factors there. But at the end of the day, by default, you're likely not going to have the city that you're in, and it's likely going to be um, in Fahrenheit, which we're in Canada, so that doesn't work for us. We need Celsius, um, but it's ultimately going to depend on what your preferences are. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to click in here, and this is going to bring us into the weather app. If it's the first time going in there, it's going to ask you. Okay, so we're going to choose Celsius. We're going to say Calgary, because that's where we are, is Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And then it's going to give us the weather. As you can see, it's a little warm, but it's cloudy, so it's not very nice outside, but that's okay. It's not snowing, so we'll take it. Now, I know what you're thinking. 20 degrees, probably in the middle of summer. Does it snow? Well, in fact, yes, it is the end of August, and two weeks ago, it did actually snow. So that's the weather that we enjoy here in Calgary. If you live in Calgary, you'll understand that. Now, let's say that you've already um, added in uh, location here, maybe by accident, maybe it came pre-configured. How do you change it? Well, basically what you're going to want to do here is go into the settings and then here it's going to tell you uh, how to do it. Now, what you can do is you can set this to always detect your location. Okay. And then when you do that, it will always look for the location to automatically change this. And if you do a lot of traveling, that's probably something that you want to do, but ultimately you may want to just keep it set as a, at a certain point for us. Where we live, we are sort of close to another um, uh, outlying community to Calgary, and sometimes we don't really get the weather. Sometimes uh, certain devices will give us the the wrong weather because of where we currently are. Um, so sometimes the other location doesn't work, especially if you know that you're going to be spending most of your time, you know, closer to the city core as opposed to um, you know being out in the uh, in the in the suburbs or or in the outlying communities. So so that's important for us, but um, you know, for this we just sort of leave it to automatically detect. So that's how you want to basically go and customize it, and once you you've done that the next time you go into the start screen once this updates and it it's not immediate but the next time that it updates which generally happens I think the last time that I did there we go you see it just changed to show Calgary so it does happen uh, you got to give it a probably 45 seconds and then it will uh, it'll sort of kick in with the new information based on the location that you've choose thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time